Day 75, inseparable. Hello everyone, this is Rox759. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Last time, we ended up dealing with the Veil Lizard and found Shion, finding out that she can no longer use her Keyblade. So, thanks to Axel and his brilliant thinking, Shion is now gonna be teamed up with Roxas for the next couple of missions in order for her to see if she can regain her ability to use the Keyblade. So, if you ask me, that's actually a rather brilliant idea. So, doing right now, what I usually always do is check the store, see if there's anything new, because while synthesis stuff is added, stuff you buy with heart points is not, and I already explained this, I believe, in the last part of the part before that. So, let's deal with our panels, because we have quite a few missions that we're going to be doing inside this episode. And, let's put in another cure, even though cure is hot garbage. So I think it's at this point I'm realizing, you know what, cure is actually not that good, but I mean... Cure level 5, maybe that's better? I mean, regular cure was hot garbage. But, put on the backpack. And, I think that's everything. Nope, we need a high potion. I think that's everything we're gonna do for right now. So, cure level 5, maybe it's not hot garbage. When compared to cure level 4, which is garbage. Spoiler alert, cure in this game is garbage, if you could not tell by me saying that constantly already. So we've got quite a few missions to do this time, so first off, we're going to be doing an organization emblem mission. Or destroy shadow globs, so we can get a luck tech from this. What's a luck tech? A luck tech is actually something that is very rare to get in this game as of this point now that I know about it. So, like always, we have to collect the emblems and make sure that we can, you know, do it all. So, let us try, try all we might. Nope. There we go, that's one. Over this chest, and we get a symbol, a monkey! Symbol a monkey. Good job, Shion. But we didn't get any items. Here's where having dodge roll would have been a good idea because I could have moved faster. Really, doing these missions is just a pain to do. I don't like these missions. They're annoying. Because, I mean, you don't really get much for them. And you have to collect a bunch of emblems. And, I mean, I can't even reach all of them because I don't have the coveted... I jump. I just have a regular small jump. I also don't have other abilities that you get later in this game that makes these things a breeze and a joke. So there's the unity badge, but for right now, gonna be grabbing as many of these as we can. So that's another one. Let's go and grab this one. It's a good thing I'm seeing this mission now, because now that I have all my abilities that I have inside the game, uh, I can use this and go back and get another luck tech, which means that Ultima weapon will be mine. Wait, no, the, no, it's not the Ultima weapon that uses luck tech. Um, I believe it's known as the Presti... What was it? Pandora's Gear? I believe is what it is called. It's a very late game gear that you'll get. That's one of the last gears that you can synthesize in the game. Really, really powerful. Not as I don't think it's as powerful as the Ultima Keyblade, which requires Oracalcums, but still pretty good. All right, let's see if we can find some Heartless and then build up some of these things. This is probably gonna be one of the longer missions for this part. But as you can see, the poison plant has quite a bit of health. Which is why Xion uses good old magic to take care of it. All right, 
Starting to get hit a bit too much. All right. Come on, poison plant. Ouch. Ouch. Nope. All right. Poison plant's just about dead. Good job, Shion. Thing is, though, I wanted to be the one to kill it. All right, so let us... Wow. All that work and nothing paid off for it. <sighs> Disappointment. Slow and steady wins the race. There are enough of these things for us to at least get to the first of the things. So let's grab the Unity Badge. Oh, we got Yellow Operas. But we also got a chest. Ooh, Raxus wants the boxes. Open this up, and we get a Moonstone. Oh look, more synthesis stuff for items I never synthesize. It's what I always wanted. Oh. All right. Might as well grab these right now. Oh, thank goodness. For a second, I thought I was going to fall. And I fell. Peachy. Yeah, these missions... I, I get what they are. They're supposed to, like, test your endurance, see if you can memorize things well. But they're just plain boring missions. And they take forever, too. Especially when you're unable to get most of these things the way you're supposed to the way the game wants you to because, you know, you don't have things like high jump or glide. Yes, glide is in this game, ladies and gentlemen. If glide pretty much has become a staple in the series since the first game. Since the first game, actually. Right, one more and then we're done. And I don't need to do it at all. Right. I don't know why I went on to my magic. All right, unity badge. Mine. That's my unity badge. All right, might as well go and get this one badge that's right over here. That's here, and there we go. Mission complete. So, RTC authorized. So, Shion, has this mission taught you how to use the Keyblade again? I know, this seems like a random mission to ask that, but hey, what can you do? All right, let us grab this, another moonstone, another moonstone. Ooh, the, oh wait, no, that's just another one of those badges. All right, and return to the castle. And we got a slot releaser and a unity badge. No luck tech, though. All right, so let's now go on to our next mission, which is going to be at Agreba. But first things first, gotta put stuff on there. So why don't we put on a high ether so that I can get magic use again after I end up healing. With my cure level five, which I still at this point have not realized it's hot garbage. So we've got ourselves shadow globs. Problem is, some of these shadow globs are hidden kind of high. So I believe we end up of leaving this mission because we're going to need uh, magic in order to deal with this. And I didn't bring it. So, let's open this up, get a potion. There's a shadow glob right there, and as you can see, I can't get to it. Which means one thing. We're gonna have to abort the mission to get fire. Because this didn't tell us about the fact that, you know, there aren't any things. There aren't any... Uh, that you need fire. 
which I hate that the game doesn't recommend that you take like a spell like fire or something for this because you know you don't have high jump at this point and it's annoying right so close so very close so very very close all right let's try this again if I fail this I'm going to leave the mission and get fire. All right. I think it's about time we withdraw and show off what it's like when you withdraw. So you abort and you get to keep the items that you ended up opening up in chests. Yeah, that's kind of the weird thing. You don't have to complete a mission to get the chests that you need for the mission. All right, three. I better get rid of this entirely. So I guess I never did realize that Cure was hot garbage until post-commentary. Because we put on the triple cast, and that triple cast is going to be staying inside our thing for a long time. And I mean a very, very long time. Alright, let's fire. Let's put another high potion. I don't know why I'm not putting dodge roll. Get rid of the ether. Put another high potion. Because I'm in a lot of danger when going to face these shadow globs. I I don't know how many potions I'm gonna need. I get really bad with potions later in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Later in the game, I carry about 20 of these th those things with me. What's worse is I have to use most of them. All right. This time, we can take care of the shadow globs. And we already have two of the six treasures, so that's perfectly fine. So, let there be fire! Perfect. That's one shadow glob. Let us now head off and find the rest of them. But first things first, loudmouths and lajamas. Oh, you thought this mission was gonna be a breeze, didn't you? Take care of this guy first. And then take care of the large armor. Right? Right? I did a lot of damage. Ouch. Alright. Xion? Thanks, Xion. Totally helped me with that. You know what else would be helpful? If you had a Keyblade. That would be great. All right. Time to heal. All right. Come on. Come on, large armor. I hate large armors. I miss large bodies. Those guys were easy to take down. These guys aren't. Xion's getting wrecked. And there we go. Get a frost shard from that. Oh, goody! Another one! Just what I wanted! There we go. I did care of the crescendo. The loud mouth. My mistake. Get the large armor to fall down. Because we're getting to the point to where my wild gears become kind of useless. Alright. This thing gets up too fast. Ouch. Alright. One. He falls over. Now beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Way to go, Xion. Your magic is useless. And you're kind of getting wrecked. All right. Thank you, Xion. All right. That takes care of the large armors. Let's destroy this. And break everything. Head on up over this way and let's now do the actual mission and destroy some shadow globs. 
Okay, we got one right here. There we go. That's one. Got a chest right here. Open this up and you get a potion. Now, I think the loudmouths here actually can heal the shadow globs. So, that could be a pain. Eh, it's a pain to deal with acne inside of Agrabah. Everything's so hot, everyone sweats all the time. Oh, hello, loudmouths. There we go. It's two. I heard another one. I hear it spawning. And I see them. Alright. There we go. That takes care of them. Grab ourselves an ordeal badge. Yeesh, why are there so many loud mouths? Like, not that I'm complaining. I'm getting the hard points and all that. But still. It's a lot of loud mouths. Alright, what is up? Get an iron. Uh, we need one more shadow glob and then we'll be done with the mission. Then we go on to the third mission for this episode, yeah. There's a reason why I'm doing so many missions all at once. And that's because, unfortunately for us, the next episode is going to be quite the beefer. And I can't help it. Right, so we got a shadow glob right there, but more importantly, we have a chest right here, so open, attack it, open it up, and you get a high potion. Perfect. Make up for that high potion I ended up using. Alright. There's a shadow glob right there. We got a possessor and a pure blood shadow. Take care of them. Nope. Xion, you knocked me down. All right, take care of you. Mission complete. And we got two more pustules to deal with. And a unity badge to obtain. There we go. Let us take care of these two. Oh, you fell. Come back up here, because I'm not going down there to get you. Instead. I'm gonna destroy the last shadow blob. And grab ourselves a potion, which means we have six out of six boxes for this level. I don't know why I'm still caring so much about boxes, but it's, it's funny because with how far I've recorded ahead right now, I've gotten just about every single chest in this game. Yeah, so much for me not going for 100%. Which is why I'm also completing these mission bars fully. Huh. It's like I secretly wanted to go for 100%, and I'm secretly going for it right now. Oh well. So, that takes care of the Shadow Glob mission. So, let us RTC. So, Xion, you learn how to use a Keyblade again yet? No? Okay, let's go to our next mission, shall we? For day 77. This time we're going to be investigating Beast's Castle. Which is a fun mission to say the least. So let us see. Let us put on magic level 2. Am I really going to be putting on that garbage cure? No, I'm not. Good, I've learned. I've learned. So... Let us investigate Beast's castle or collect hearts. I think we're collecting hearts. My mistake, we're not investigating Beast's castle yet. I knew we were going to Beast's castle. I thought we were investigating it, but that's story mission. We have hearts to collect first. Now, I believe this is the bonus mission we unlocked when we ended up uh, Unlocking that mission from I think it was Zoldan. See, I don't even remember myself anymore. Everything's just such a blur when it comes to this game. Alright, so we got bad dogs to deal with. 
Thank you, Xion. I was going to take care of it myself, but your magic proves useful. All right. So let us check up around here first because there's probably Heartless hidden in these hallways. Yep, called it. Ah, she's using shotgun ice. But she's not doing a very good job at making sure it hits. Although in this game it's more shotgun fire. Maybe pistol fire. Eh, whatever. Alright. So that takes care of all the heartless up here. So let's go down into the next area. Oh, it's Cogsworth. Welcome to the other world that you're gonna have to stay out of the sight of people, ladies and gentlemen. Beast's castle. Believe me, it's a lot more annoying than it sounds. Luckily, Cogsworth isn't too bad with it. But we got a soldier right here. Good job, Xion. Your magic is very powerful. All right, we got a panacea. Can sell that later. Let's not get seen by that, and let's instead open this up, get an ether. See, Cogsworth can be randomized when he's going around in circles, but he's not as bad as Lumiere is, which is why I still got caught by Cogsworth. Yeah, we do. But for right now, we've got ourselves a shadow. So let us go up over this way. And what the heck is that thing? Ladies and gentlemen, meet the snapper dog. Snapper dogs are extremely powerful and extremely annoying. I didn't think we would deal with one this early in the game, but... Believe me, these things later on get a massive power boost, and it's rather annoying. But it does fill up our meter quite a bit. So I believe once we end up killing these Heartless, we will get a mission complete. Or maybe not. We'll be just short of one. All right. So let's open this up, get a potion. Go over here and open this up, get a Frost Shard. Grab this Unity Badge. And let's go back to the castle foyer, shall we? Because there is one more chest there, and there's also a Heartless that is on the opposite side of Cogsworth from the side we went to beforehand. Oh, we got a shadow. There we go, it takes care of the shadow. All right, what's up? Get an ether. Now let us go right here. And a soldier pops up. Beat up the soldier. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Steal his money. All right. So that takes care of all the heartless inside here, which means all the remaining heartless are gonna be outside. We've got two sergeants to deal with. Yep, told you you were gonna be dealing with sergeants later in this game. But did you think you'd be dealing with two? Probably not. Well, Xion set one of them on fire. See, Xion is on fire in this mission. He's actually being very helpful. There we go. Mission complete. So let's take out this sergeant right here, and then we'll get a major mission complete. 
because that's all I can think about to call this. All right, there we go. We got a shining shard, a potion. We got ourselves a chest right here, so open this up. We get a frost shard. There's a chest on the other side. There's also the ordeal badge that I don't remember if I end up getting or not. Oh, we get a high potion, but I gotta get rid of a potion first. High potion. Yes, I go after the ordeal badge, perfect. And an ordeal badge. There we go. That takes care of all that. So let us head up an RTC, shall we? All right, more Waltz of the Damned. I really did like this track in Kingdom Hearts 2, and I think re, uh, 358 over two days does a pretty good job at replicating it without it being too bit crunched. But let's RTC, shall we? So anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This is Roxas 1359. Next time, we're going to be going to Agrabah. Oh, boy. See you all next time.